Good afternoon. Our lesson for today is chemical bonding. So chemical bonding, the term is a general name for the forces that cause elements to combine to form compounds or polyatomic molecules. So these forces are electrical in nature and may be ionic, which is resulting from electron transfer or covalent, which is resulting from sharing of electrons. So for example, the so first example is rubidium and chlorine. So it has opposite sides of periodic table. So an active element and a non-metal. So rubidium is on the on the other side of the periodic table so as the chlorine so they are both opposites on the opposite sides so they are ionic so their bond is called ionic so nitrogen and oxygen so both are non-metals and they are covalent covalent in band and calcium and chlorine so opposite, opposite sides of periodic table an active L metal and a non-metal so they are both ionic band so ionic in bonding and nitrogen and sulfur both are non-metals so they are covalent in bonding then Carbon and fluorine, so both are non-metals, so covalent in bonding as well. Then we have calcium, uh, potassium, and oxygen. So opposite sides of periodic table, active metal and a non-metal, so they are both ionic in bonding. That electrons responsible for the chemical pro properties of atoms are those in the outer energy level. So valence electrons, the S and P electrons in the out in the outer energy level. And core electrons are those in the energy levels. We go now with the valence electrons. So the electrons responsible for the chemical properties of atoms and are those in the outer energy level, the valence level. So electrons that make bonds are called valence electrons. So not all valence electrons in an atom participate in make, making chemical bonds. Valence electrons, the electrons in the outer energy level. Core electrons are those in the lower energy level. And bonding, so involves the valence electrons that are electrons in the highest energy level called the valence level. Atoms in the same column have the same outer electron configuration and have the same valence electron. So, it can be easily found by looking up to the group number on the periodic table. So, for example, group 2A, here are the example. So, they have two valence electrons. Electron dot diagram. So, a way of keeping track of valence electrons. So, this is a diagram that shows the bonding between atoms in a molecule. So it also shows the lone pair or pairs that may exist in a molecule and also known as Lewis structure or Lewis dot diagram or electro electron dot structure. Uh, nitrogen.
that the electron dot diagram of your nitrogen. So Lewis structure shows how the valence electrons are arranged among the atoms in a molecule. So the dots represents the electrons and lines represents a band or a pair of electrons. So based on observations of thousands of molecules. So only the valence electrons are included in the right in writing the structure. So electron configuration for cations. So metals lose electrons to attain noble gas configuration. So they make positive ions. So we have here the sodium. So it has one valence electron. So sodium positive. So, noble gas. So, calcium. So, it has two electrons to electron positive cations. Positive ions. So, electron configuration for anions. So, non-metals gain electrons to attain noble gas configuration. So, they make negative ions. If So, for example, is sulfur. So, it has six valence electrons and noble gas configuration. So, that's for anions. So nonmetals will have many valence ions. Stable electron configurations. So all atoms react to achieve noble gas configuration. Noble gases have 2s and 6p electrons. And eight valence electrons called the octet. So octet rule, the octet rule states that molecules with eight electrons in their valence shell will be stable. So regardless of whether these electrons are bonding or non-bonding. So the rule applies well to acid compounds. So in contrast, the 18 electron rule is Operative on atoms from period 4, which have to achieve 18 electrons to their orbitals and achieve a stable configuration which has the same electron configuration as a noble gas. Similarly, from period 6, the atoms have to achieve 32 electrons to feel. So, ba balance band theory. One of two basic theories that was developed to explain chemical bonding, or the ad other one is molecular or orbital theory. So, it focuses on how the atomic orbitals of atoms combine to give individual chemical bonds. So, the theory is used to explain covalent band formation in many molecules typically easy to employ for ground state molecules polarity of bands so when the atoms in a band are the same the electrons are shared equally so this is a non-polar covalent band when two different atoms are connected the electrons may not be shared equally so this is a polar covalent band so, how do we measure how strong the atoms pull on electrons? So, we go with our electron negativity. So, this describes the ability of an atom to attract electrons or electron density towards itself. So, it is affected by both its atomic weight and the distance that its valence electrons reside from nucleus.
the higher the associated electronegativity number, the more an element attracts electrons towards it. So, electronegativity, a measure of how strongly the atoms attract electrons in a band. So, the bigger the electronegativity difference, the more polar the band. So, 0 0.0 to 0 0.5 is covalent nonpolar. Uh, 0 0.5 to 1.0 is covalent moderately polar. And 1, 1 1.0 to 2.0 is covalent polar. And 2 greater than 2.0 is ionic. So use the electronegativity table to calculate. So how to show a band is polar? So here is an example. So the partial positive and partial negative. So this isn't a whole charge but a partial charge. So this symbol means a partially positive. And this one means a partially negative. So in the slide, so we have hydrogen and chlorine. So hydrogen is it has a partially positive and chlorine has partially negative. So the chlorine pulls harder on the electrons. So electrons spend more time near the chlorine. So covalent bonds. So nonmetals hold on to their valence electrons. So can give away electrons to bond. Still want noble gas configuration. Get it by sharing balanced electrons with each other. So both atoms get to count the electrons toward noble gas configuration. So here is the example. So fluor fluorine has seven valence electrons. So a second at atom seven. So by sharing so happen so both and both end with full orbitals so fluorine has seven valence electrons a second atom also has seven so by sharing electrons so that happens so they both have eight valence electrons we have single covalent bond. So it is a sharing of two valence electrons, only non-metals and hydrogen. So different from an ionic band because they actually form molecules. So two specific atoms are joined. In an ionic solid, you can tell which atom the electrons move from or to how to show how they form so it's like a jigsaw puzzle I, you put the pieces together to end up with the right formula for example show how water is formed with covalent bonds so hydrogen has one how one one electron while oxygen has six so each hydrogen wants one more and the oxygen has six valence electrons and the oxygen wants two more so they share to make each happy so they share their electrons so to put the pieces together the first hydrogen is happy the oxygen still wants one more. So the second hydrogen attaches. Every atom now has full energy levels. So they have eight valence electron. So 
So, in multiple bands, sometimes atoms share more than one pair of valence electrons. So, a double band is when atoms share two pair of electrons. And a triple band is when atoms share three pair of electrons. So, the exam for example is carbon dioxide. So, carbon dioxide is a central atom. So, carbon has four central uh, four valence electrons and so he carbon wants more four more so oxygen has six valence electrons once more. so attaching one oxygen leaves the oxygen one short and the carbon three so we have to attach the second oxygen so leaves both oxygen one short and the carbon two short. so we have to again attach the only solution is to share more so we have to share so it requires two double bands so each atom gets to count all the atoms in the bands they have eight electron eight electron and eight balance electron how to draw them so add up all the valence electrons, count up the total number of electrons to make all atoms happy, subtract, and then divide by 2, then tells you how many bands to draw, then fill in the rest of the valence electrons to fill, all at, to fill atoms, all the atoms. So for example, we have this, nitrogen has 5 valence electrons, wants 8 more or needs 3. So a hydrogen has 1 valence electrons, wants 2 or needs 1. So we come up with this. So it has 5 plus 3 divide 1, so equals 8. And then 8 plus 3 divide 2 equals uh, times 2 equals 14. So that is the how you get it. So for atoms with 3 bands.